Welcome to the Goblin Empire. I'm Josh. This is Goblin. And today we're going on another planes walk together. So, uh, Goblin, what should we do? What? Humans? He likes humans. Okay, we're going to do a human party today. Because there ain't no party like a human party. Because a human party don't stop. Right, Goblin? <laughs> Here we go! Welcome back to the Goblin Empire. This is Casual Planeswalker. Today we're going to be looking at a deck I like to call Human Party. Because there ain't no party like a human party. Because a human party don't stop. Let's take a look under the hood, see what's in the deck. Alright, here's our two drops. We got our impassioned orator. Mr. Orator over here basically is a 2 2 for 2. White Bear, who gains life whenever we drop another creature. And our other creature is the General's Enforcer. So the Ikoria block came out with a lot of really good human tribals. And that's kind of where I started with this. I wanted to use like General's Enforcer. He makes legendary creatures indestructible. He can exile creatures and create more soldiers. Sanctuary Lockdown is great from Ikoria. All humans get plus one, plus one. You also have an option to tap a creature if you use it right. Bastion of Remembrance, you get a 1-1 one, one white human soldier, and anytime you lose a creature, you gain a life, they lose a life. And so with those kind of ideas in mind, oh, if also, of course, the, the star of the show, General Kudro, he gets plus one, plus one to all humans. Uh, you know, if, if, if you play Commander, I think his, his daughter is one of the commanders in uh, 2020. She also gives bonuses to humans. So human tribals are really cool, really big deal in, uh, for, in Ikoria. And so we're going to build around that. Um, because the General's Enforcer can make legendary humans indestructible, we're going to need a lot of legendary humans. So let's see, who do we have? We have uh, Tesa Karloff. She's great because she can make our Bastions of Remembrance trigger twice whenever a creature dies, so it's always good to have her. Um, we have Kenrith, the Return King. And he, ha he does everything, and he's huge. That's awesome. He has all the colors. He's the best king ever. And you can't have a king without the queen. So we also have the queen. She uh, White creatures attack. Gives us life. We have Massacre Girl that we can call upon when everything is get a bit hairy. Uh, it's awesome to, awesome to have a menace creature that can also pretty much do a board wipe if played correctly. We have the Black Knight from Throne of Eldraine, Sir Conrad. He basically is kind of a Bastion of Remembrance in creature form. Uh, if a creature dies, he's going to be dealing damage to the opponent, which is really cool. Uh, we have two Gideons. We have Gideon Blackblade and Gideon the Oathsworn, adding to our indestructible legendary hero creatures for the human side. Um, we have a Oath of Kaya to kind of protect our Planeswalkers and ourselves. It also is a quick three damage anywhere if we need it. Um, we also have Elsmith, so we can throw some plus one, plus one counters to make our humans even more stronger. We got the White Knight, Sir Allen. He's awesome because when he attacks, everyone gets to be even more strong. So everything here synergizes with each other. Everyone is making each other super strong. With Revival, we have an option. Split card. We can bring back someone from the graveyard, three or less. Usually it's a General's Enforcer to make sure that our, our legendaries stay indestructible. Or usually we use this for revenge if we can get up to the six drop. Because doubling your life and having your opponent's life is phenomenal. Especially if you use that with Veto. You should see that. Vito's Pizza Parlor. We're going to explore that deck later, I think. But uh, yeah, this is what we got now. Um, as for... I think that's all of our... Oh, we have one more. We have Wander. Uh, this is this, this will be the introduction to our removal. Because if you need to exile creatures, which... Because you're using lots of indestructibles, you know, that, that there's, there's a lot of indestructibles out there. Especially Heliod and other things. You're going to need ways to exile either creatures or cards. And so Wander is good to get rid of someone who's really strong to exile them. And we have D-Spark also can exile permanents with convert to cost. That though D-Spark does not take care of Heliod. I think Heliod is a three drop. But uh, Dire Tactics can also exile a creature, so you can just get rid of them. And as long as you control a human, there's no downside. So that's pretty good for uh, for two, a white and a black. And I think well, that's everybody. Did we go through everything? Uh, no, we have one more. We have Kaya, uh, Planeswalker. She's good to she kind of help get rid of the opponent's graveyard, gain some life, and if they have enough exiled cards, which you will be, you know, exiling a lot, you can, if you get her up to our super, then boom, do the negative five, and you can hit the player for a lot. 
Uh, for our lands, we have seven plains, eight swamps, and replacing the eighth plane is a Castle Ardenvale because we can also tap it to uh, create some 1-1 one, one white humans. We can make Rooster Girl come out. She's uh, saved us many times. Just like the General's Enforcer, how you can kind of pay four to create a, a soldier if there's a creature in the graveyard you can remove of. As long as you have Castle Ardenvale, you can keep paying that four and keep making the human creature tokens, which is awesome because with a whole bunch of sanctuaries, with Kudro, with the bastions of remembrances firing off everywhere, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time with our human army. Also have a godless shrine and three scoured barons. Uh, people often ask me why do you why do you play with one godless shrine and not four? Just get rid of the scoured barons, and it's because I only have one. And then they're like, why don't you use your wild cards to get some more? And they, they, this has worked. You just you use what you have. It's fine. And four fabled passages to get whatever land to fix it during the battle. We do have a board wipe in the form of Kaya's Wrath, and I think that pretty much covers all the cards. Uh, yep, looks good. All right, let's go uh, see what it can do. All right, here we go. Let's uh, see who's up first. Who are we going to go against? Who will it be? Man, I love these dinosaurs. So cool. We should make a dinosaur deck. Rawr. Good old Garouk there, summoning his dinosaur army. Oh, it's Teferi. Hello, Teferi. Dribbleus Teferi. He's up first. All right, let's see what we got. We got three lands. Yeah, we can work with that. An orator. That's great to have open and hit. Oh, this is good. This is a great hand. Hello. All right, so I'm going to open with a passage, and we're going to pull a plane. There are no one drops, so this is a totally valid strat from the beginning, because now we will have exactly what we need to probably drop him next turn, and then maybe a Gideon or a Bastion, depending on what's going on. We don't have any removal in our open hand, but hopefully the next few cards we draw will kind of help us with anything that may crop up. We're going to throw in our swamps, that way we have both of our color mana, and the orator comes out. Impassioned orator! Alright, Teferi, what are you going to do? Okay. Ooh, it's the pride. Alright. Hmm, let's go ahead. Do we want to... Not yet. Not yet. Let's see if he wants to trade. I hope he does. He probably doesn't want to, though. He probably wants to pump him up. So he's probably not going to trade a Johnny. But I'm okay if he wants to trade. Because it gets, gets rid of one problem in the world. That's fine. Well, he's down two. And we still have a blocker, so we're okay. And we'll got a second Bastion coming up, if need be. Let's see what Teferi has in his pocket. Alright. Okay, now, now we may start having problems. Oh, you're gonna take out my soldier? What you gonna do, Teferi? What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> Hello. Alright, oh, there we go. Okay, um... Do we start cutting them down? I, th I think we should. I think we should. Let's... Get rid of that guy. And we'll see if he wants to trade again. Do you want to trade your Ajani? I'm open for a trade. Nope, still doesn't want to trade. Okay, that's alright. We're ahead by what? About six? Okay, let's see if the big four drop comes out. Something that I'm going to regret using my Mortify on Ajani's pride mate. Anything to ferry? What you got? What you gonna do? Okay, alright, got the acuity going for the life gain and the draw on a card. That's fine. That is fine. Not a problem. 
Tell you what though, if we get a land, oh, I may do Massacre Girl and just wipe the board. Let's do it. No time like the present. And that's why I keep Massacre Girl around. Hello. <laughs> uh, come on, Teferi. You got a handful of cards. Surely you can do something. Okay, that's fine. You are allowed to think. I should say nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, what's he going to do? He's going to bounce it back or something? Or exile it to the nether realms? Oh, he's just going to make it where she can't do anything. Okay. Uh, let's see. You know, I may just take the hit. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. Share my light. Alright, so <laughs> that, that was a big song and dance to get out all of our cards. So now we have nothing in our hand. But at least we have a board to play with, and a Gideon Blackblade ready to start laying the smackiff down. Unless he's sitting with a whole handful of these Law Mages behind him. Can you imagine if all he had was just exile and removal and just, just lock them all down? Alright, alright. 2-1-1 one, one for white. That's, that's, that's good. I'm okay with that. That's a good card. I approve. Good old soldiers. I think, aren't those the soldiers from Dominaria? I forget. It's cool though. It's like a... almost like a stained glass with their spear and their shield. It's a really cool look compared to the... I guess these guys are from Dranith? I don't know. From No, they're from that... Uh, what's the lava city? I can't remember. In the Ikoria, there's like a lava city. Lava something. Lava Void, Lava Fun. Hey, there's a queen. Have a queen. So our next play, if she makes it, we're going to give our little human guy indestructible. And then we'll swing with both of them. Your light will cleave the darkness. And then we should wipe out his two tokens. Hopefully. Unless he's got some more uh, trickery. Oh, he tapped it. Huh, <laughs> well. Well, we'll get rid of one of the tokens then. And gain a health, thanks to the queen. Alright. Let's see what Teferi's got up his sleeve. Teferi always has tricks up his sleeve. Over the years, that's what I've learned. Teferi is a good, uh, conjurer of cheap tricks. Good old time mage. Alright, some more health and cards. Okay. Alright, still nothing, huh? Oh man, he must be looking for some kind of combo piece or something. Well, let's, uh, let's play the indestructible game again. Battle. Prepare for battle indeed. And everyone swing. Let's see what happens. I guess he'll block the Gideon and take four from the queen and the the human. Human. Human soldier. Indestructible human soldier. Oh, no. He's gonna put the queen back. Oh, he's just gonna take one, I guess. I guess he'll block the Gideon and then take one damage. It's all right. She'll be back. Or he's going to keep the human. Okay. Why not? Hmm. Oh man, 
more health and cards. Dude's just treading water right now. Well, that's not what I needed. Let's get a swamp. see what he does. Interesting. So is he going to start flying over and hitting Gideon with the Elite Guard Mage, or is he going to come after me? What's he going to do? What's his tactic? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, good thing Gideon's around. forward. I think that's it. I think it's over. I believe in you, friend. I think that's ball game. Uh, he's got five mana. Maybe he's got one more trick to conjure up. Oh, he's going to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, but he's indestructible. <laughs> that's, and that's why you put indestructible and not lifelink. Because you never know what they may try. Good game, though. Good game. Alright, not a bad first outing. Oh, we get a new card. What do we get? Clash of the Titans! Man, Ikoria has been like the best set ever. I have super enjoyed all the cards like Corey. The big monsters, the Godzilla cards. Man, what a what a great set. That is awesome. Okay, let's uh go for another. Who will we face? Will we face this giant giraffe cow horn monster? And his little baby giraffe cow horn monster? Or will we face these two red birds? I don't know who would win in that fight. Two big monsters or the two red birds? I guess it depends on uh, what they do, huh? Depends on what their card says. Alright, let's see. Da, 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 four land. Ugh. Ugh. I, mm, this is not the best. Oh, man. This is going to be a slow start. If we, you know what? Let's just mulligan. That's why we build mulligan. Oh, much better. Much better. Okay. Uh, mm, who, oh, who do I get rid of, though? Who do I get rid of, though? Ew. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, Kenrith, I love you. Yeah. Oh, mm. You know what? Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Boom! Gain some health. Out of the box. Hello. Alright, alright. Alright, let's get a planes and our enforcer. Boom! Nice. This is where you say nice. Nice. <laughs> Come on, Karn, Mr. Emerald Foker. What are you going to do with your two planes? Ah, the Orator. Love that card. What a great card. I uh, will throw in Castle Ardenvale. And let's just, uh, yeah, let's just go for the quick win. And attack with the General. 
Three planes, what you gonna do? And it's a Johnny's Pride thing. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think we want Kudro in this case. And we can probably exile something. Get out of here. And we will attack with our enforcer. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm gonna need a land. I'm gonna need some land. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, well, okay, so he can attack our block, but at least he still makes General Kudro invincible, so. Worst case scenario, we have a decent blocker. Alright, I guess we're playing this. Attack with Kudro. Yeah, we really need four mana though. I really need another land. That way we can use the Enforcer. We can do, you know, Wrath if we need to. Really need that fourth land. Ah, we're down two lands now. Five planes. What you gonna do, Karn? Mr. Emerald Voker Karn. Okay. Okay, four life, that's fine. A 3-4, a 3-4 spirit. Some kind of colonial guy hanging out. Okay, this is interesting. Do we make Kudro stronger? The answer is probably yes, we should. Yeah. Still no land. Oh, he's going to attack with both. Come on, do both. Do both. Do both so I can kill your pride mate. Do both so I can... No, nope, he did. He should have blocked with both. He should have blocked with both. I guess he... Uh... He wants to swing in this next turn. He must have a plan. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Well, we have a 2-2 uh, two -two flyer. 2-2 two -two flyer. Yeah, we really need a land right now. We are really starving. I mean, look at this. Six lands to our three. We really, we are, we are hungry for some land. I'll take it. Six damage. Coming at me. All right, good. Now, what do we do with all this land? Do I do I have a creature to exile in here? I do not. I do not. I do not. Okay. Okay. Guess we're just swinging with Kudro. We're just gonna trade blows till we hit zero, I guess. Get in there, Kudro. What's he gonna do? Alright, alright, down to five. Not bad. Really need one more land, and then we can unleash Kaya's Wrath. Alright. You gonna, you gonna attack or you gonna, you gonna play defense? You gonna play defense. Oh, nope, he's going for it. He's going for it. Now here's the thing, do I wanna do I want to do you have life link? You do not. Do I wanna take out the guardian? I do. I think I'm gonna just take out the guardian. That's, that's fine. We'll play it that way. We'll play it that way. We'll play it safe. Alright, so he does have a flyer. He has seven. Flyer at Vigilance. We got a king. We can drop a king. I can also... I can exile, create a creature. What could we... What else do we got? We can destroy that guy. He would do... Mm, options, options, options. Maybe we kill off the flyer? No, let's just let's just swing with everything, and we'll just play it a two-turn win. We'll let him decide. We will get rid of that guy. Get out of here. And I think we'll just, uh, you know, let's just uh, 
Yeah. Let's just get rid of it. If, if you want to keep your angel, you're going to have to sack it. Yep. That was the plan. Alright. Alright, here we go. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. I'm so excited. No! He just kicked Kudra. Oh wait, that's right, you can't. That says destroy. Indestructible means you can't be destroyed. See? That's in the rules, although that's a cool card. Look at him kicking that guy in the face. Boom! Swift response. Good game. Uh, good game. It will block that guy. Boom! Alright, I think we got it. Yep. Good game indeed. Nice, not bad. See, see how that works. <laughs> All right, let's give it another go. All right, let's see who we're going up against. Who will it be? Who is the next challenger? Ah, oh, it's Ugin. Ploiji, Ploiju, Ploi, Ploiju. <laughs> Ugin, Ploiju, Ugin. What do we have here? I don't know. One to three lands. These fire order, order. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta work with this one. We can work with this one. Uh, we got a temple. Really beautiful card. I love that artwork. Skylands, though. Uh, not, not too big on the Skylands. Swamp. Got order out there. Hello. Look at that dog. Look at that dog. Look at that dog. That hot dog is on fire. <laughs> uh, let's see. Romantic Lantern! There you go. There you go, you got yourself a Chromatic Lantern. Alright. Alright, Professor Ugin. There you go. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, that was uncalled for. Uh oh, it's one of them new shrines. Discard a land or a shrine card. Deals X damage to a creature, planeswalker, but not player. Or X is number of shrines are control. Okay, so it's a it's a damage dealer, but you gotta have shrines. Professor Hugan. Nice. Alright, what tricks you got up your sleeve, Hugan? Of course. <laughs> he must have a deck full of unsummons. Yeah, I know. Oh, hmm. That's... Now he's, now he's got... Got some uh, mana advantage over there. Uh, I guess. Do we want to go there? Yeah. Let's just, let's just keep throwing them out. Keep throwing them out there. Yep. Yep. Now we're going to do this. And another one. Why not? Looking good. Ding ding! Alright. Let's see if he has any more unsummons. Nope. Alright, Professor Ugin. Ah, oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Well, finally get our planes out.
Lisa Karlov taking the lead. Do I want to get rid of anything? I can't get rid of it. Alright, Ugin. What you gonna do, buddy? Oh man, it's the shrine to end all shrines. You gotta hit things for two with that. Alright. I should probably get rid of that. That seems like something he shouldn't have. Good. You know, probably should have waited to do that at the end of his turn. So I could have destroyed whatever pops out next, but that's okay. He probably doesn't have anything good. He only, he's only has three cards. He can't have everything, right? We just got rid of his Shrine of Awesome. Actually, it's over here now. Look at that. That's an amazing card. Board wipe again, okay. Alright, well, um, I guess I can start pumping up Elspeth. Don't have any creatures though, it's kind of weird. There's really nothing else though. Maybe we can get rid of something. Do we want to get rid of a. No, we can't. Actually, we can't. Wait, no, we can't. That's artifact. That's an enchantment though. Uh, will he. Surely he wouldn't discard a dude. Well, if he does, he's wasting cards. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do a plus two, and we will submit zero. Alright. Now we just need some humans. Oh man, he's got all the mana he could possibly ever want. And so do I, apparently. Actually, no. Hold on. What am I doing? There we go. Forgot I had the castle out. Steam, buddy, come on. Oh, he, he must yep, oh, shatter the sky again. Alright. Alright, it's fine. Target creature, huh? You know what? We can't have that, I don't think. Although he can kill them too. But the other one he has to discard a card, which is bad for him right now. Alright, let's get rid of it. Let's let's just do it. Finally, finally a creature. You know I can I can win now. Let's just let's just win right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, man, Doctor Ugin, that was that was rough, man. We were we were racing each other with the draw go draw go draw go. Pretty good though. Not bad. Stock giant. Ho ho ho, green giant. Alright. 
Who are we gonna face? Who's next in the Thunderdome? What Planeswalker awaits us in the arena? Oh man, it's old Sarkhan, Mr. Dragon, Mike TG. All right, Mike TG. What do we have here? Okay, I'm good with that. I'm good. I'm good with this hand. Right, what are we gonna? Okay, we've got an island and a wall of rooms. All right. Let's do. Do a swamp. Swampy swamp. So the reason I'm picking the swamp is because I have Sir Conrad in my hand. It's the only double swamp that I have. I don't have a double uh, planes at the moment. So I'm playing that first, so I do the swamp swamp planes. Sometimes it's, it works out, sometimes it doesn't. This deck is a little bit white heavy. It's slightly more with the white cards, but uh, yeah, see. And then he gets in the queen, and you regret, should have played a white card. Should have went for the planes, but we'll see. Igneous Kerr, he can grow big. Mm. 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 He's going to try to pump up his Igneous Kerr. Oh, he's just going to kill it outright. You know what? I would too. I would too. Alright, well... Let's just get rid of his dog. Get out of here. Okay, now we're gonna run into some uh, land problems. That's what it's starting to look like. Draw them cards. Oh man, I love Electrostatic Field. What a great card. If you do spell sling index, that's almost a must. All right. Who wants to go first? Do we have any creatures in the graveyard yet? No. We do not. Hail to the king. Here we go. Nice. Alright. Damage to me. Love that electrostatic field. What a great card. Must like it. He must have liked the card he saw. Alright. Yeah, let's just get him out there. Let's just let's start swinging and see what we can do. It's a first strike. Oh, there goes the king. Oh, he's gonna just outright kill each other. Okay. Sure. Oh no, because of the first strike. Wow. Okay. Alright. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Well, let's see. Okay, at least get rid of electrostatic field. Want to do that? Probably. Well, he's got to decide something. What you got in your hand? What you got in your hand? Oh, he's going to do a massive amount of stuff. Let's see how he does this. 
He's going to counter the spell so it stays alive. He's going to return a non-land permanent to his hand. Who knows what it is? He's going to make a token that's part, a copy of it. He's probably going to make two electrostatic fields. And he's going to draw a card. What a ridiculously awesome M21 card. Look at that. Is that is that original M21 or is this like a reprint from somewhere? I, wow. That's crazy town. Well, now I have two of them to worry about. Yep. yep. He's gonna electrostatic field me to death. Well, he's having a good time, that's for sure. Oh man, we're gonna light up the stage and throw some more lightning around. What'd you get? You got a goblin arsonist and a mountain. Alright, play your mountain. You're gonna throw, throw the arsonist, why not? Get them all in there. It's gonna just... Oh, oh, no, oh, trample, trample, oh, trample. <laughs> he just he just did it for the lightning. Good on him. Oh, Conrad's back. Alright. What do we need to get rid of? That is nothing. These two are the problems. Man. We can do. And an arsonist does one damage to me, right? Yep. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't get anything good. Uh, he's gonna hit me with. Okay. Okay. Prowess. Grandma. Grandma Prowess is here. He's gonna op, he's gonna make her grow. Yep. Yep. He's gonna get a card. Hopefully it's a land and something he can't use. Alright. Alright, alright. So see, I'm sitting with these two anti-CMC4 cards, and they're just not helping me right now. Alright. How can we do this? I can get rid of Grandma. Let's get rid of Grandma. I guess I'll just attack, because that's all I have left. And he'll probably block with his wall of runes, and then the electrostatic token will still be sitting there. Nope, he's just taking the damage because he can, of course. Of course, why not? I would I would have probably done the same thing. Oh no, two damage any target. That target was gonna be me, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Well, at least I can try to take out his walls by targeting Chandra. Yeah, go ahead. Good luck, kid. Yeah, that's fine. Lava Coil. Okay, I can survive that at least. Grandma comes back. Yikes. You know what? Let's just... I should have done this when it first came out. Totally not thinking. Where was my brain at? Grandma's back. Yeah, and they all get they all get superpowers. That's fine. Man, what what a ridiculous game this is. All right, finally get rid of one of the walls. All right, come on, just draw land, land, land. Just get a bunch of lands. Good, good. <laughs> Battle of attrition. Man, I, I I was worried about that one, but I guess he got that land and he just lost confidence. All right. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> that's that's a human party. Thanks, Sir Conrad. Thanks, impassioned orator. Thanks, Othakaya. Thanks, Sanctuary Lockdown, and all these other wonderful cards. Queen, too bad we didn't get you out. But man. Alright, well there you go. 
Thanks for watching the Goblin Empire, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends, do a backflip, spin around in a circle, and have a good time. That's what you're going to do, because that's what I'm about to go do. Alright, see you guys later.